What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to some more Vicky 3 as Byzantium. It is the year 1902, and we've come quite a long way from our humble beginnings as a three-state uh, minor power here in Europe. We've amassed a GDP of 45 million, which puts us solidly in, I believe, ninth place. And we have some room to gain in order to pass Canada, and we can also probably catch up to Austria-Hungary and Russia before the game is over. I'm not sure if we'll be able to cross the 100 million GDP mark and get around where United States and the other guys are, especially since they're going to continuously be growing as well, but we can certainly try. In terms of our nation, we've got a really good economic situation going on where we have 14 thousand pounds in excess of our budget we're back at base taxation levels i did drop our consumption tax on opium because we were uh precariously balanced with negative authority here so i wanted to kind of counteract that and make sure we didn't have too many radicals from standard living decrease we do have three million of those which is about you know 15 percent of our pop uh give or take a couple more percentage points there so we want to kind of manage that pretty well in terms of infamy we have 29 of it that's because we've been doing wars to expand our market indirectly by getting subjects and those subjects are probably the reason why our economy is doing so well because you can see we're getting 53,000 from diplomatic packs which actually is more than our income taxes alone um, even when you combine it with things like tariffs but our minting is still really high so it's, it's, it's a considerable chunk of our our, uh, our income but it's not the sole factor that's and why we're doing so well uh, we also have some protectorates in Buganda and Montenegro that we got um, and I think we're kind of done with our European expansion. Everyone who's left in Europe is kind of too scary for me to fight. And I actually don't think I want to build my army up too much more. We're going to kind of stay under Great Britain's wing and uh, use their power as our power and just let them kind of be the, the bully while we focus on building up our economy. Right now, we are building up some railways and glass works. If we look at our market, you can see the glass is very expensive um, because I guess a lot of people are swapping over to the next tier of construction, steel frame buildings, uh, which uses, well, I don't think steel frame buildings uses glass, right? Oh, it does. It does. Steel frame buildings uses glass. And then also, I'm pretty sure Great Britain at this point in time probably already has um, covered, uh, covered markets, which uses more glass, as well as arcades, which uses more glass even more. So there's um, a lot of things that cost glass, which is why it's good to get this industry built up at this point in time. Uh, let's go ahead and kick up the steel to open hearth process. Steel is something we are short on in our market, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's over here with a 3,000 uh, negative. Uh, diff what's the what's the right word for that? Not negative. It's like, uh, what's the opposite of surplus? Shortage. Anyway, we have this event going on called the Peabreen Outbreak. It's a historical event that's hitting all of our silk plantations. It's kind of uh, decimating our silk uh, production. I think this is part of the, like, I'm not... Sure, I don't know much about this historically, but I think this is part of the reason why you end up with um, uh, the ability to make synthetic silk using one of the techs later on. If I can just find where that tech is, it's over here. It's the art art silk. I think that's part of the drive that has this. But in order to get rid of this epidemic, we need, either need to research pasteurization or we need to have someone else research pasteurization and have it spread to us. So uh, we're just going to kind of deal with that. We don't have a huge silk industry, so it doesn't really hamstring us too much. Um, but it still is something we need to consider. Uh, in terms of war, I think we're going to be spending all of our excess power to expand down in the Africa region, trying to get involved in the scramble for Africa, maybe getting Wadai, Darfur, working towards getting Sokoto um, into our market, but we're not going to do anything too risky, because at this point, I don't want to get gimped um, in these wars. Now, I did say we had an excess of money, and I want to reinvest that into construction. Uh, if we take a look here, we are caught up on our tech spread. We have 40 points, or 36-ish points, uh, in excess that'll of our uh, of our innovativeness cap that will actually be put towards our spread of other things. So we can afford to invest everything else back into our economy, which we're going to do. But for now, uh, we're going to let our queue build through, and I'll bring you guys back when we do start building. It's going to be a heavy, heavy economic focus from the rest of the game, so we'll do some jump cuts to talk about what we're doing with the economy. All right, we've gotten just about through our construction queue. I built a couple more uh, construction sectors in order to get through some of our excess budget here. I think our focus right now is going to be getting up our local glass industry as well as our engines. I need to make sure that our act, we're actually producing glass in a lot of our buildings here. So yeah, it looks like the vast majority of our guys are focused on glass as opposed to bone china. We just have the singular place that's doing uh, ceramics in China. And we'll keep it that way. So let's go ahead and queue us up some more glass industries in some of our more enterprising states. Sort by peasants, look for who has some existing uh, industry. So let's 
I clicked off like a dummy. Let's go back. And let's just kind of throw some more here in Yemen. We'll get them up to a nice 20 stack. What's our current production efficiency cap? It's 31. Do we just want to go for the 31? I think we just do just go for the 31. Uh, economy of scale cap. And we'll just leave that for our glass production. That's going to make our queue 81 weeks long, which isn't too much. So we'll let that turn through. And that should do a, a good go a good way towards addressing our little shorts of glass here. Next up, we'll probably hit engines. Um, I can't really produce a ton of the other stuff. I could do steel and also maybe look at steel iron and coal because these are kind of our input goods so if we have shortages here it's going to make the other things harder to produce which cuts into our deficit glass uses lead i believe let's take a look at you and see what the glass actually uses for us also make sure we're not actually hiring everyone to work here which is going to make it a little bit rough let's fill out our vacancies huh okay here's what i'm going to do before we do this let's go ahead and grab just five universities in yemen that might seem strange considering we're at our economy of scale cap, but the excess innovation will go towards our uh, innovativeness cap, and the universities will help us generate qualifications. And so having an extra 15% times 5, I guess it's additive. I'm not sure how it scales, uh, but it's going to turn more of the peasants into these things that we need much better, right? So it's going to generate more capitalists. It'll get the mechanics and things, and it'll going to help us staff some of our plantations and things. So five might be overkill. Um, let's go with three for now. And we'll let the other ones just kind of turn through. But if we're going to really invest in the glassworks, let's make sure we have the qualifications to get that stocked. Uh, so I'm going to get that built. We'll kind of monitor the state here and I'll bring you guys back. All right, it's the year 1905 and we're doing pretty well. We're up to 52 million GDP, which puts us, I think, just past Canada. We've snuck into the eighth seed here. Still getting through our glassworks and we're also working on making the swap over to using... Uh, steamers and those types of ships as opposed to using the old uh, wind-powered ships and man of wars we used in the past so that is progressing uh, we also have a uh, native uprising over here in africa but i can't ascend my armies to this region i'm uh i'm stuck so i have to make an army in the nile and then just throw some conscripts in this army and have them fight the war for us because uh Still have not fixed this frontline problem, which is frustrating. Uh, we'll just temporarily create this army, throw in some cannons as well. Uh, that should be more than enough. Let's go ahead and throw in a general here. Uh, throw in uh, this intelligentsia guy. He's pretty all right. Raise all your conscripts. And we're going to have you... Well, first you can defend this front. Um... I thought Jibu was going to fight this for us, but I don't think they can reach this border anyway. I wish they really need to fix this. It's such a terrible, a terrible issue to have where they could just, like, my 33 stack right here can't actually get to this front. I can go to this front in this, like, separate war that GP's having with, like, Harrow, but I can't do anything in the other one, which is frustrating to say the least. Now, there's also a bunch of other uprisings. Right now, we're in the age of just having a ton of people, um having, uh, what's it called? Rebellions rising up and, and making that be a problem. We're actually going to demobilize this. We'll pay extra, but we don't need that army anymore. Let's see how fast this guy gets his manpower. Because let's see, they're repping the full... Yeah, they need to work. But we'll just keep this army here. I hope we don't have a lot of these. Who's this agitator? What's he doing? Uh, oligarchy and a reformer. Probably women's all right. Ludite agrarianism. Okay. Our laws are fine. We haven't we've gotten everything down. Maybe it's go protected speech here. Who hates this? Rural folk don't like it, but most everyone else is fine. Let's do protected speech. I believe we also have already gotten ironclads. Working on steel frame buildings because I want to get even more out of our construction capacity. Let's go to steamships on all of our buildings. Let's also go and kick over our ports to using the industrial ports, and let's change our navy to have uh, steamships itself. Oh, I need to do frigates. I need monitors to do that. So let's go and drop these and we'll do monitors next. We're going to have a little shortage of uh, monitors in our Navy for now. Yeah, we'll just let that fix itself eventually. I don't care. We don't use our Navy in these wars. We're not doing any naval invasion, so that's fine. I'm going to fight these wars. I'll get through our queue and I'll bring you guys back. All right, we have kicked over to steel frame buildings, and it's costing us a ton of money, so we're going to raise our taxes here to counteract it. But it also means we now have a ton of excess construction capacity. Uh, so we need to go and see what short goods are in demand here. It looks like we need... 
I guess let's, let's work on iron and steel for now. I know we have excess iron, so let's get some steel industries. Uh, I think some, um, some of our values still need to adjust, but I'm going to get some steel mills and then parlay that into getting some engines. Because the engines can be kicked over, the motor industries can be kicked over to use automobiles once we have that researched. We can't do it right now, uh, because we are still working on getting monitors to fully get rid of steamships. But I think we might need to start focusing on combustion engines after we... Uh... Actually, do I want to do these before monitors? Shift work. No, we'll do it after. We'll do it after. We'll get those built in that order. So let's get our steel mills kicked up here. Let's look before we have available peasants. We have some in Ankara. Uh, let's go and get 10 steel mills there. We also have other ones that are available. Let's go and do... Uh, let's do 20. We can do excesses of 20 here. Each of these employs... What's that? That is like 4,150 people. Yeah, so that should be fine there. We'll get that, and then we're going to start looking at motor industries. Let's do... Likewise, in car, and then I want a second industry in Somaliland that we're going to use to produce our, um, our, what's it called? Our vehicles, our automobiles. Do we use colonial exploitation? We do. Actually, Somaliland's not going to have a huge throughput there. Let's drop Somaliland, and instead I'll do it in Erzurum. Yeah, that should be fine. The reason we're not doing it in Somaliland is because with colonial exploitation, they'll get lesser throughput, so we might as well do it in a qualified state. I guess that also is applying, technically, uh, to where we did our things in, Ye in Yemen, but uh, I'm just going to ignore that fact because I didn't realize it until now. But I'm going to get these built, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, it's 1908, and we're about to finish Combustion Engine. That's going to let us kick over to our next level of... Uh... It's going to let us kick over our motor industries into working on automobiles, which is really good. So we can, what we can do is we can go and take this. Let's go ahead and pause. Uh, let's go and find our motor industries. And we have all the ones that we're building in Erzurum. Uh, let's go kick those over to automobiles. So I believe we still do have a shortage of automobiles, and it's quite a massive shortage. I think Erzurum might be able to take care of it. Each tier of this produces... Uh, it's not... kind of wish it would tell me there. So let's see, if we do engines, it goes 40 per level. So it should be 40 times 20 of the automobiles, which will be about half of our deficit there, which will still leave some room for us to profit off of, which will be pretty nice. It's going to require rubber. We have rubber. We should probably build more rubber plantations now that I think about it. Um, I'm also going ahead and after our motor industries, I want to start building out the power plants and get our, uh, our urban centers to be a little bit more uh, well built out here. I think I'm done focusing military. I don't really want to fight any more wars in this playthrough. I don't think there's too much we can go for. We could expand our market, but we're already part of GB's market. And so I just want to kind of focus internally. And I'm not going to ever build up enough to take out the last couple states here. So I'm going to leave it be. Um, and we'll just forget about those states that Austria occupies that we can't go and grab. Uh, so instead, I want to focus on what really matters for us. And I'm trying to think about what that is. I like the pneumatic tools. I like the idea of getting that in order to get us more constructed or throughput and help us catch up a little bit in the GDP sphere. Uh, chemical plants, we're doing quite fine, I think, on that. Going for radios might be good. Telephones into radios would also be good for us. There's also art silk. Uh, I think for now we'll leave it be for there. There's all these electrolysis stuff. That's all going to require oil. Uh, and we do have some oil rigs we can build in the Yemen region here. So we, we are a little oil rich. We could take some of this land. In fact, that might be worthwhile. In fact, let's go ahead and attack Oman. I think I want to just conquer this state here. Just to give me access to more oil here. I'm worried about who would get involved. Involved. So let's go ahead and fight Oman. I lied when I said I was done with war. Can you blame me? Let's go and do this war. Uh, let's keep the African core. Let's go in full hands here. Also, we're losing money. Uh, I have full t full taxes. It's just that uh, steel frame buildings are expensive. <laughs> I've had to turn it off in a couple sectors because it's just so pricey for us. Uh, but we'll, we'll roll with that and try to get that stabilized. I'm working on it very slowly. Oman has no construction sectors. That's crazy. Uh, is there more I can take from this? GB will join for an obligation. So this is basically a free war for us. Uh, I want to take Trucial Coast, too. Why not? And... I want to see if someone else gets involved, because I can call in... Who's leaning towards Oman? No one's leaning towards Oman. Wait, this is the wrong war. If 
fuck, we're gonna protect her at U2, and then we're gonna call in GB. And just let them fight this. Uh, well, no, I don't want to waste an obligation. We'll keep it as is. Keep it as is, knock them out, and we'll see if Nezd has the balls to get involved, because we'll fight Nezd next. We're gonna try to take over the Middle East to get control of oil, is what I think we want to do. And it's in our region, uh, so I don't mind uh, doing it. Once we fight the Ottomans, we can actually get all of this connected, probably. Yeah, we could take the Ottoman land. Nezd is no problem. We'll have we'll have a full control of the Middle East here as Byzantium. That should be fine. We'll run it over. Do you even have men? You have no troops, Oman. What the hell are you doing? Oh, which reminds me. Let's make sure these are all primary goals. I'll take the infamy. That is fine. Uh, and I want to convert some of our other guys into tectorates and whatnot. We could still probably do that with of Uganda, and then we can probably Dominion Luang for Bong. This money loss is kind of insane. I kind of need to deal with it. There's also a ton of wars. Did we just, like, spawn all these wars? GB would offer us an obligation to get involved against Communist Australia. I will accept that. Fascist East Africa. And then this is Switzerland against only their own part of Swiss. Let's see what the Swiss will give us. So I got an obligation with GB, which is good. I could use that in a war. The problem is what war is worth calling in GB for an obligation? How big are the Swiss? Are you are you good enough to me where I'd want to... Well, you are pretty decent sized. Let's get an obligation with the Swiss. I'm wondering if I can sneak away to fight Austria in here. Their defense pact is actually fucking insane. They have... Russia and England. They have a giant hug box here in Europe, which is fine. It's better than the World Wars, I guess. Uh, we're having a ton of interest here. I need to... It's because I have my armies raised. I raised two armies here for no fucking reason. Home army, go ahead and de demobilize. You don't need to be here. Uh, I'll just use the main army here. Armies are very expensive when raised because I have too many mobilizations, but I don't care about changing it right now because we're not going to do too many wars. And most of them will probably be one using our smaller army here, the Army of the Basilica, which we've permanently moved, permanently moved to Africa. We'll probably start stationing them in the Middle East here. I don't think I need to really worry about that. Let's go ahead and disband this 8th Byzantine Army. We don't need them available. We'll just have two generals for the Army of Africa, or the Basilica. Oman should fall. Communist Australia is not a problem. And that's a war done and dusted. We're still going through our queue here. This is throwing me off. Uh, but we're going to start working on getting our power plants and starting converting things over to using uh, power, which will be cool. Let's watch and see how the market changes. Uh, you can see we've already just thrown automobiles off by converting these over. We're down to only 308 automobile demand, which means this is probably overkill in a lot of ways. How much automobile are you making? You actually haven't employed anybody. Oh, that's a problem. You. You need qualifications. So we're just going to throw in three universities for you. Uh, what do we want to build for our next company? We're losing the steel stuff. Army offense is kind of useless for us at this point. Ideally, you want something that's already profitable. Fertilizer plants is a good one. Let's do the fertilizer plants just because it's already profitable. Looks like we need more demand for steel. Maybe we need to... How are they not profitable? Our steel shortage is immense. Also, can I export stuff? And make money here? Yeah. Oh, that's why we're suffering. There's a revolt. I see. That sucks. Uh, let's get an interest. We want to get interest in all of our homeland here for the Brits, and let's just keep working over Europe here for our interest. That's interesting. They have 329 normal GB. Okay, can I just declare it? Oh, I'm in another war with them, so it's not possible. This is very interesting, this war here. Could be our chance to go independent, that's why I'm looking at it. I'm also going to cut back. While we're in this war, let's go back to using iron frame buildings. Uh, I know it'll, it'll know it's going to hurt our production, but I don't really mind. I want to not have two million in debt. So, uh, yeah, that's 
pretty reasonable, I think. And let's also go ahead and stand down our African core. We don't need to be involved now that this war's finished. Uh, we took their capital, so they should fall. Uh, they also don't have any troops to fight us, so no reason to get involved in some of that stuff. What's China doing? Nothing important. So what do we lose out for? Our market access. That's why we're suffering. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. Ankar, you need to have a railway, I think. Yeah, you need a couple railways. We have a couple in Ankara down there. Let's also get these universities before the railroads. Railroads. Before the railroads. Jesus. A little bit sniffly today, so apologies if I sound congested. I don't know what's what's going on with me. I really need to get rid of the roll folk. Causing problems they are. End of the springtime. Spring has come and gone. Can we... Get rid of the rural folk. We could throw out these guys. That's... Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Also, why are we losing so much bureau? Oh, it's again because of our damn... Fuck, okay. Okay, we are suffering because of our stupid... Uh, what's it called? Did I incorporate this? I didn't even incorporate this. Well, that could have been good to incorporate. Uh, we're suffering because of the stamp civil war. So let's see how it's going. Hopefully... Dad wins? Yeah, Dad's winning. Okay. That's good. And around the world, there's other things going involved. We're going to let this work kind of play out. We should fix ourselves once the uh, once GP's done. Let's go ahead and pause construction just so I can deal. I don't want to have 3 million debt. That's kind of a, like a lot. Uh, 7k in interest is bad. So I'm going to let GP fight the war, and I'll bring you guys back once I have an update. All right, we are back. And we can have a succession movement brewing in our newly conquered uh, states of Oman and Trucial Coast. So we'll have to go and fight those guys. We'll get the army of the Basilica, which is stationed in Arabia, to come over here. And put those guys down. Should be a quick and easy war. Nothing too big there. They shouldn't actually have any troops, I don't think. Uh, we also, Great, Great Britain got out of their war. We did win. I think they owe us an obligation. They should owe us an obligation. They do owe us an obligation. So we could use them in a war. I'm, I kind of want to go for... Austria-Hungary, but I just don't think we'll win. Not with Russia, Austria-Hungary, and France all aligned. Not to mention these other guys who are also pretty big. So if we use them to get something else, maybe we go and make a play for Egypt here. Again, that brings Italy in with their 260. We protect her at you. Italy and Russia. God. This mass of alliances is just... Insane, man. Insane. All right, we're fine with that. We'll put that down. I think GB is going to actually get involved to help us here. Oh, no. We'll just... We'll do it ourselves. We don't even need them. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Uh, can't get involved in these other wars. What do you offer me? It's not worth an obligation from Orange or Basuto. We'll just go ahead and declare neutrality here. And we'll declare neutrality here. Yeah, declare... Don't need to get involved. What if we made a play for Transvaal? I know it's part of a uh, U.S. We could nuke play down here and call in our wonderful overlord. Uh, what do you have in this region? We got coal mines, gold mines. Zulu is our customs union. Okay, hear me out. We're gonna fight this war, and then I think we're gonna attack Gaza. Do if it's a pact with Transvaal, an alliance with Zulu, and then we protectorate both of them. And call in GB. Maybe. That's my that's my thinking on that matter. Yeah, we'll get up another protector down there. Uh, don't need to conquer any land directly. We're doing all right there. We're already getting some colonization over here, which is kind of kind of coming along. Um, I can actually kick more guys over. I'm going through and slowly converting back to steel frame buildings. I had I had I went to iron frame uh, during the war because we were just getting absolutely laid into. Uh, because we were losing our market access. You can see we had a huge dip in our GDP there, which is now recovered. Recovered. We're still paying off the war debt of uh, 826000 in interest. We also have 7K additional exp expenses from the synthetic silk research. Uh, we're kind of trending along here. We did end up getting pneumatic tools, so our construction sectors are even more efficient, and now we're working on getting telephone and radios, which would be good for us to have. And there's also art silk that's in the queue eventually. Uh, what is this against... Scandy, what are you going to offer? Ooh, okay, let's let's stop and think about this. So this is Kutai along with Scandinavia against 
I could take Iceland. Part of me wants to do it. So Scandi has how many troops? 121. That's not a lot. What will you offer? Open market for Scandinavian or war reps from Scandi. Do I even need to fight this myself? On the flip side, what do they offer me? Transfer subject. None of the cool ones, though. Travancore would have been cool. I could liberate. Or I could just, like, you know... Okay, that's not actually any of the ones that are cool. What if I just join you for war reps? Or do we just take Schleswig Holstein? That'd be funny, right? Two million GDP? Give me Schleswig Holstein. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Give me Schleswig. Oh, he won't do it. Do we need Iceland? Should I take Iceland? They got whales. And that's about it. I'll do it for war reps. Give me war reps. Yeah, give me war reps. Go! I am not going to get involved in that war. We'll just have a... We'll have a, the U.S. fight it for us. They're not going to cause any problems for us. Plus, the war goal is over here. So, we'll see what happens. If more people get involved, it might ditch the U.S. But I don't care. I don't care. We'll let that fight. This war is already over over here. Uh, we're doing fine in this region. While we're on the same side of the U.S., I could declare a war... And they can't get called in. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. You know, you can't get involved in a war if you have another one going on. Uh, what's happening up here with the Basutos? That's all fine. Our income keeps fluctuating. I'm trying to nail down what is causing it. Like, let's see. Is it is it poll tax and income tax should stay like locked in here? Same with consumption. So income tax is doing fine. Minting should be fine. Is it the investment pool? Diplomatic pack, 62k. Yeah, and the s pool transfer is fluctuating madly, and that's affecting our, uh, how much it costs. Uh, so let's see. Prussia, by the way, also owes us an obligation, so we could... I, I kind of want to try the, the Austria-Hungary war. I do. I do. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. I shouldn't do it. I really shouldn't. Like, it's so, it's so, so risky. But I want to do it. Also, is Russia now going to be on... Okay, they're all on the same fucking side there. Okay. Maybe we try it. We can always save scum. I just want to, I want to test the waters and just see if it's if it's feasible, right? So, I think we'll give it a give it a good old college try. Let's kick more guys over to steel frame buildings. We should be able to do... Probably... Instead, that was seven of them. Eight. We'll try them all. Except for these last two in Ankara. And Urzurum. Uh What are we going to use? Let's get our let's get our navy involved. Let's do like a naval invasion on somebody just to make this go a little bit faster. We're taking Iceland. That'll help me pull some troops off to come and defend Iceland, and then we'll free up the U.S. to do something else, like for instance, defend against these <laughs> invasions in this region. We only need war reps, right? So we just need a little bit of land. And this is core territory, right? Iceland's... Oh, it is unincorporated. But if we take Iceland, we should be fine. They do have a pretty decent-sized navy, but maybe they just won't defend against me, and they'll be stupid. That's always a good opportunity. And the AI, you know, loves being dumb. If there's one thing you can count on, it's the AI being stupid. Uh, we're building through our motor industries. That's still coming along. Jabal Shamar is falling apart. Turmoil in the Middle East... Who would have thought? Um, can I? I'm going to lower my government wages here. The Ottomans have sided with Jabal Shamar. But you got to remember, those guys are not scary anymore. Maybe we kill the Ottomans off and just keep expanding in this region. I mean, what, are they, what are you guys repping in terms of GDP, Mr. Turks? One point. Okay, so not a, not a ton here. A lot of useless land. 
Yeah, you haven't built a damn thing in this region. It's kind of worthless. Oh, well, we got Tuxcandy. Is that the war goal? Does that count? I hope it does. Uh, 66%. They want Kutai. Humiliate Scandinavia. Well, where do we drop next? Where are we dropping, boys? Let's see. Kutai's falling right now. Uh, we'll just we'll keep that army stationed there. That might Let's see how the invasion of Kutai goes, because that might be sufficient. Then we can just, you know, lay back, relax, and let uh, America take it on. This is going to be one. Uh, yeah, no way they get that landing off. This one, however... Where are the troops? There's the... Is this, this the Navy? There's the Navy. Once the Navy lands, they'll do their invasion. There they go. Get it all in one. Go, Uncle Sam, go. Julius Cutshaw. There's one. There's two. I wonder what determines how the progress is gained. Like, what? what is... Is it the amount of offense you have? Is it the relative offense? Let's see. I'm pause. Save the game. Killing one man. These guys are really tough. These last 100, dude, are like the commandos, apparently. Why is the other war not stopped? Oh, I need to naval invade the Trishal Uprising. Great. Because there's Oman. Uh, let's just... Let's go deal with that then so this is being one killing one person a day you think you know also look at the look at how they're killing people these 73 people are just like commando assassins in the uh in the jungle there guerrilla warfare how's this going that's good they give up with that one All right, they're finally getting them. The last 30 are gone. Meanwhile, we're coming over here to handle these guys. There we go. All that for 33. So let's watch that happen one more time. 1.6K. I think the AI would go and take the free Iceland that they have over there. Trish Uprising's in default. Get out of this war, please. Let's see. Haiti's having a revolt, and apparently Russia is wanting to get involved in that. That's interesting. Don't know why Russia wants is that cares that much about uh that kind of stuff. Uh, please win this fight here. I don't want to see this invasion stop. I also like how I wasn't able to like invade that. I have an interest in the region, but I'm still not able to invade Spain side with Haiti. Yeah, these revolts are just getting uh ganged up on. Win that, please. How many times is this Navy going to have to fight? Okay, now do your landing. Or fight the Navy again. There's the Naval Invasion. The coast is gone. Bam, we've got it back. Huzzah. Live to fight another day and reset production in both these states. Please, can we get this naval invasion off? There we go. Okay, so they, 98%. One more. Un mas. I think we have the two Scandinavian war goals. All we need is Kutai. I'm losing money again. Oh, the US is doing stuff over here. Russia's having a revolt. Did they give this to Prussia? They did. They gave Sasha Kolstein to Prussia. Oh. I thought I had a... Oh, it's a Prussian uprising in Sasha Kolstein, but it's... 
Okay, so they would defect to Prussia. I see, I see. All right, so they did now win. They did only need that last little bit there. Uh, but this should be everybody out, right? So Scandinavia has war goals. Uh, this should be... Well, we'll knock out... What is this? Who is this? Kutai is going to be gone, and then it's going to be Scandi. But we have both the war goals, so Scandi will, should give up pretty soon, too. Can I do my own war? I cannot, because I'm engaged in this one. Okay. That's fine. We'll go ahead and step away and let the Scandi get pieced out here. Nothing should change. So uh, we'll just wait this out. All right, we've gotten out of the war with Scandinavia. We can see we've uh, got them to capitulate. And they're giving us about 19k in war reps over here. And I'm just going through and looking through our economy. And I can see Urzrum over here where we have our new motor industries that produce automobiles. They are struggling to hire. They only have about 6k of the 120k they could support in this region. So we have to kind of look and see what's going on here. It looks like that we have really expensive steel and rubber. Uh, which is part of the reason why this also is a state that I think doesn't have its full market access yet. We just built some railways here. Are the railways hired? Yeah, we're not even getting people in the railway. I built universities. What's our what's our situation here? Yeah, our railways need to hire to work more people. Maybe I should build two more railways and let this kind of go through. I'm subsidizing this, so they should always pay. Like they should be fine. Hmm. Okay, I think we need to build more or get get more steel. I think it's I think it's a weird situation where the market access is low, so they're struggling to import the goods they need, but they won't actually prioritize people working here. Uh, so maybe we're just hiring to try again next week. It's trying to hire two thousand employees. Hire people. You have job. Ugh, come on now. This is a weird situation because we're we have a a spot where if, if they work the railroad rail if they work the railroads they'll have the infrastructure they need right but because they're not working it they don't they're not able to hire even though we're subsidizing so they should be hiring it's unable to hire why not try again next week unsubsidize and the subsidize you should have the cash reserve because we're paying for you like we're it's coming out of my pocket right also i just want to see i can't do it because they're protected towards me fuck i was going to try to pull some shenanigans with gb while we have them so let's see if i did this if i did this right here right protector at you uh what other work goals can we do and we're just gonna say like call in our obligation. Bam. Call in obligation. France is going to go and win that, or not France. GB is going to go win that war for us. That should be fine. And I don't think anyone else is going to get involved here. US might decide on us. So we're going to get Gaza. Uh, next we'll be getting Zulu. Zulu should technically should be called in there unless they just give up and uh, bend over backwards for us, which they might. I uh, would not put it above the AI here. So, how do I fix this, is the question, right? Because they're not hiring in this place, which they need to hire in order to get shit done. If I go back to here, let's go to our city center then. Kick this back over to public trams. Just in this one province here. That should raise the demand for transportation, right? We could also go to experimental trains. I am color me confused here on how to address this. They are they are our government workers again. We can start right sizing our economy here. Yeah. I'm stuck. We should not be building anything in Erzurum. This place is kind of a, a desolate hellscape. Whatever, we'll go back. I'm just going to choose to hope that that uh, fixes itself. Um, it's a shame that I invested so heavily in that province and it's not generating anything. Uh, I currently see we are losing market access. 
GP, have you overextended? What's going on, GP? They don't have enough... Motherfuckers don't have enough of the convoys. Gosh darn it, GP. Okay, that's the thing I gotta consider. Uh, what's this? Go electric wherever you can. Kick it over. I don't care. Up we traded. We, apparently we now are making phones. Forgot about that. Uh, can I kick one of these over to Rayon? Do you make more? How are we doing on silks versus dyes? We do need silk, and I think we're probably great on dyes. So let's go kick all these guys over into silk. You will deal with it. You'll make more. That'll be fine. We're also going to go ahead and research pasteurization. Let's add to the queue. We're going to deal with this uh, pea brain epidemic. We'll get rid of it. Um, but let's, we'll watch TB fight this war for us, and then I think we're going to put a cut in. Um, Rizram's being strange. Because here's the thing, right? The cost here is not reflective of the market cost, right? It says 69.1 for steel. But if you look at the market cost for steel, it's 49. So it's much cheaper, right? So they are paying a higher price. And the reason they're paying the higher price is because they don't have access to infrastructure. What I almost want to do is we're going to remove this consumption tax temporarily and we're going to try road maintenance here. Because so we do road maintenance and we'll do like emergency relief here. It's going to hurt our economy, but it gives more market access and should mean there's more people that we can employ, right? How do I get people to go into and work in the railroad? Oh, I didn't see this. You can now reset all across Byzantium. Interesting. For just like one inf Oh, that's really cool. That's a cool thing. Did that fix it? It's not been fixed. Okay, we'll give up on that. Uh, I'm just going to hope that it stabilizes that state. I can't really do much about it. We're going to tax services again because we were, we're losing money when I took it off. So, there's rooms now a desolate hellscape where people can't get in or out because they don't know how to uh, work jobs uh, consistently. So, that, that's the thing. Uh, this should be all run run by GP, though. Yet another case of having our dad go and beat up somebody for our own gain, which is fine. In terms of GDP, we are now solidly in eighth. Canada is now past Russia in GDP, the economic powerhouse of the Canadians over here uh, with their 16 million population are just absolutely devastating the economy. That's the power of being in GP's market here. So we're going to just kind of follow Canada and try to pass, I guess, Austria-Hungary is next. We're still moving up, which is good. Uh, but those darn Canadians, man, they're tough. There's some tough folks there. In terms of our prestige, we would be ranked above Scandi if we got... We could be a great power if we got independent, but being independent is a, a whole thing in and of itself. Uh, so I'm happy where we are. We're going to stay in the market, not uh, not risk everything on a Hail Mary war that I don't think we can even win. So we'll let that pass. We now have radios. What are people in demand for? They do need radios more than... Well, they need both. Telephone for 80 and radios for 114. Let's go and take one of our electric industries. I want to get another one, and let's get it where we have peasants. Let's do it in Ankara. And then the one in Ankara is going to be in charge of radio production. And we'll split them between the two, and they will manage themselves. Sounds good to me. We're losing money again. I could cut back government's wages, or I could just tank it. Money towards the tanking it side of things. Goods for government buildings. There goes Gaza. We have the glitch where they are stuck being occupied, which is fun. Fun and good and totally not infuriating. But that is what it is. Uh, can I go in? Let's, before we end the video, let's look and see if we can reduce autonomy with any of our subjects here. We can with uh, Montenegro. All right, I think we're going to put a cut in here. It's 1913. We're going to kind of just focus economically and not go into too many wars unless we bring in GP with us. Uh, it's a shame about Urzurum. I need to figure out how to fix this because this is actually really bad. 20, 20 motor trees that we just can't work and hire people for is kind of insane, especially when you have peasants who can go and do jobs. Like, these guys are... 
These guys should be free. It's this damn infrastructure, man. It's making everything terrible. Plus, we're still having GP having a shortage of stuff. So maybe we do need to break free of this market. I'm not sure. Definitely not sure. Oh, yeah, we would have no one on our side. Absolutely no one. Yeah, it's a little, a little sketch here. But uh, we'll figure something out. But for now, we're going to put cut in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Sean, this Blue Screeners. And I'll catch you in the next one. Later.